So you've decided that you'd like to try homesteading. You're looking for land, making your plans. In this video, I'm going to give you seven action items of things that you can do between now and when you finally get onto that new homestead that are going to prepare you with skills so that once you get to that place, you'll be able to hit the ground running. Grow something. Whether you start with just sprouts in a mason jar, or learn about microgreens, or do container gardening, grow some herbs on a patio, or even build something as elaborate as a vertical growing aquaponics system with a fish tank and vertical grow tubes, starting seeds, learning how plants grow will help you when it comes time to plant that first garden. Buy sides of meat. Go in with your neighbors on an entire cow, or just get a half pig for yourself. You may be familiar with how to cook pork chops and pork tenderloin and things like that, but learning how to deal with the cuts that aren't as common will definitely put you in good shape when you harvest your own animals to know what to do with hawks and bellies and things like that. Build relationships with producers. If you go to farmer's markets and meet all the producers in your area, then you can start to form relationships with them. You can ask them if they have any workshops or if they need help weeding their gardens or help processing animals. And that way, not only can you gain skill that's far more valuable than anything you could pick up passively, like reading or watching videos, but the actual hands-on time that you spend with people who do these things is going to provide you with a lot more detailed information and also give you the opportunity to find out if those sorts of things are the things you like doing. These relationships with other producers are also going to serve you once you have your own homestead. If you have something of value, then these other people who are producing things of value will want to trade with you. So developing those relationships is key and you can't start too early. Start composting. If you've got enough outdoor space to have a compost heap, by all means do that. Find where you can get local resources. And even if you're in an apartment, you can run a worm bin underneath your kitchen sink and produce valuable soil amendments right there in that space. Take lots of workshops. If you've got somebody in your area who's offering a soap making workshop or a cheese making workshop, wherever you can get practical skill and actually get involved with these processes, it's going to build your skill set and give you new hobbies to help you along your way. Number six is my favorite, canning surplus for producers. So if you talk to those same folks at the farmer's market, they might have seconds of tomatoes or fruit or things like that that they'd be more than happy to share with you if you were willing to return some of the processed product back to them. So if you get two cases of peaches from somebody and can up a case for yourself and give them a case, then they're going to be happy, you're going to be happy, and you're going to have access to a higher quality food source than you might otherwise be able to afford. Learning the canning process is absolutely pivotal to food preservation on the homestead, and if you can get some experience using other people's product ahead of time, it's going to serve you well. Develop skills. Bushcrafting, woodworking, welding, whatever you're interested in, develop those skills and work on them because they're going to serve you once you're building out your homestead. If you already know your way around and have some tools for the sort of things that you're interested in doing yourself, then that's going to save you a lot of time in trying to figure things out when you're in a situation where time pressures are exacerbated by the complexity of running a homestead. And a bonus thing is farm sitting. All homesteaders, small producers like to go on vacation too. And it's very difficult to find people who can come stay on your place and take care of your livestock and your gardens and things like that. So if you can get somebody to teach you how to take care of their place, then you've got a little side gig, but it also gives you an opportunity to get a foot in the water of homesteading and also gives you the opportunity to see lots of different types of homesteads if you develop that 
as a service you can offer to your local community. By diving into these skills, you will learn a lot about yourself. And if you start acting like a homesteader now, you will have a much clearer vision of what to focus on when selecting and equipping your new homestead. If you do everything on this list in the year before you buy land, you will be many-fold more productive in years one and two once you do. A new homestead always requires many hours of work to get set up. If you arrive with all of these skills under your belt, your chance of brilliant success will be extremely high. 